हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग चैप्टर सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री हेयर वी डिस्कस अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज द टाइप्स ऑफ प्योर सब्सटेंस कंपाउंड इट्स टाइप्स मिक्सचर्स इट्स टाइप्स एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सचर लेट मी चेक हाउ मच यू रिमेंबर योर लास्ट टॉपिक्स दैट वट इज मेटर वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ मेटर how it classifies what are the physical classification what is chemical classification this is the things which we discussed in the last two lectures that is your part 1 and part 2 regarding your some basic concepts of chemistry class 11th video lecture so if you don't remember these topics so i will suggest you to first go to that videos then check this video lecture so moving to next we have discussed in last section about physical classification its types chemical classification pure substance and element so in this lecture we will discuss compound and mixtures so what is a pure substance we discussed in that lecture also that it contain consist of a composition which is definite in nature either compound element molecule all are pure substance which do not contain any impurity so this is what we have discussed classification that is chemical classification pure substance we know that pure substance have a fixed ratio then elements in that we discussed metal non metal semi metals atoms molecules now in this lecture we will discuss compound type of compounds there are two compounds that is organic compound inorganic compound then we will discuss the mixture and type of mixtures that is homogeneous heterogeneous and one main thing is this that mixture is component or a substance which consist of any ratio of the components so what is element we discussed in last lecture also that elements combine in a chemical reaction to form a molecule for example hydrogen and hydrogen element combine to form h2 molecule oxygen oxygen element combine to form o2 molecule so these two molecule of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen combine to form h2o that is a water molecule so this water molecule is your compound or a molecule of water now we will discuss what are molecules and compounds some molecules are also called as compounds and some compounds are molecules that are made of more than one type of atom for example we know that hydrogen hydrogen combine to form a h2 molecule so here one type of elements are present so it is not a compound we will consider it as a molecule but this c h and o this sugar molecule this is a compound but because it contains elements in a fixed proportion and more than two elements so after discussing this we come to a point that all compounds are molecules but all molecules are not compounds for example we discuss this h2 molecule so h2 is a molecule but it consists of one element only so it will not be a molecule but sugar molecule is a molecule but it will be a compound also because it consists of more than two elements so all compounds are molecules now moving to the proper definition of a compound a compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together so in compounds the bond formation is chemical bond formation for example in water two hydrogen atom bonded to one oxygen atom this type of bond between the elements is a common covalent bond or a ionic bond so in compounds there are mainly two type of bond exist that is covalent bond and ionic compound ionic bonds in ionic compounds so for example pure table salt is a compound because it is made up of two element so anything made up of two or more than two element will be a compound so some examples that is carbon dioxide it is a compound with carbon and oxygen iron oxide the rest with this formula sodium chloride we discussed that nacl then sodium bicarbonate your baking powder then hydrogen peroxide h2o2 these all are compounds now we know that 
compound exists has a fixed ratio they have a fixed ratio what it means compounds have a fixed ratio by weight of elements present how many elements are present in any compound the ratio of that element is fixed for example in h2o here hydrogen and oxygen combine in a fixed ratio by weight so what is that ratio for example for hydrogen atomic number is atomic number is 1 atomic mass is 1 for oxygen atomic number is 8 and its atomic mass is 16 generally for elements atomic number multiplied by 2 will be the mass atomic mass of the element in most of the cases so here oxygen have a mass 16 we have two hydrogen so the mass will be 2 for hydrogens and 16 for the oxygen so what we get this h2o this atomic mass of hydrogen the two molecules so two hydrogen for 2 into 1 1 oxygen the ratio is 16 2 ratio 16 when we divide this 2 by 1 this 2 1 so 2 and 2 8 are 16 so this is this came with 1 ratio 8 so we can say that for water the fixed ratio is 1 ratio 8 so by this method try to find for the carbon dioxide co2 that ratio will came 3 ratio 8 now moving to next what are the types of compounds the compounds are of two types that is inorganic compound and organic compound inorganic compounds are the compounds which are obtained from non living things such as rock and mineral for example common salt marble gypsum cement etc now moving to next organic compounds these are the compounds which are made or obtained from living things that is plants and animals these are the compounds which just the made up of things which are related with the living things like animals plants humans as a human is an animal so the things the waste of product from humans or animals all the things cover in a living organism so the good example is your organic compounds that is your urea ureation so organic compounds contain carbon hydrogen oxygen so organic compound good example is sugar molecule that i discuss with you CHO that is C6H12O6 that is a glucose same similarly sucrose C12H22O11 is a formula for a sugar so element versus compound what is the difference between element and compound basically we can say element and compound both are pure chemical substances both found in nature difference is that that element is made up of same type of atoms but compound is made up of different type of elements in a fixed proportion elements like iron copper hydrogen these are elements when these elements combine for example iron and oxygen combine to form rust iron oxide then that will form your compound so this is the difference we can discuss that elements are simpler substance compounds are the pure substance but more than one type of element these all are elements and these elements when combined then they form compound so element is the smallest particle that has a property of an atom and the molecule is formed when two or more atoms combine chemically like compound this is the difference of a pure substance these are chemical elements and this is the compound that sugar water baking soda i discussed with you that baking powder also then these are the crystals the salt crystal protein crystals so these are the compound pure substance this is the element so this is the difference for element and compound that element is of one type compound is made up of two or more than two elements so this is what the scenario is the matter the pure substance now we are finished with our matter pure substance element as well as compound so in elements one type of atoms are there in compound two or more than two type of elements are there now we are moving to mixtures in mixtures there are two types homogeneous heterogeneous so this section we will discuss in the next slide so this is the atom of an one type of element this is the molecule of atom of one type this is the molecule of two atoms or we can say two elements so this is a mixture it contain atom of one type molecule of other type and a compound also this is a mixture which we are discussing right now so mixture a mixture is a combination of two or more substances where there is no chemical combination or reaction we discussed that 
in mixture there is a no chemical combination or reaction which occurs in compounds in compounds we discuss there is a chemical reaction these are in a fixed ratio but mixtures do not combine in a fixed ratio and even there is a no chemical reaction they can combine physically in no specific proportion we can mix them in any ratio according to our choice and need so mixtures are solid liquid and gases they can combine to create a mixture simply we can say that mixtures are not pure substances because they contain second thing and also not in a fixed proportion next they are made up of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded there is no chemical bond formation each substance has its own properties which is not case in your compounds like for example in air water ocean soil these all this is a mixture this sand is a mixture of so many things so mixtures they have a distinct physical component that means visible they may have distinct visible component we can see the components of a mixture they may appear uniform sometime we cannot distinguish the components we, you can separate a simple mixture by physical means even by hand there is no need of chemical reaction to separate the mixtures but this is required for compounds examples of mixture a salt water a sand in water this is example of mixture then chocolate chip cookie this is cookie and we can say this is a mixture muddy water and salad dressing all are the examples of a mixture so what is physical combination that combination of two things of a pure substance the sugar pure substance water pure substance when two pure substances combine what will form a mixture will form so this is what formation will there this water have a space between the particles because it is a liquid sugar is solid so solid get particle get trap into the gap between the liquid particles so if we can say you make a mixture by adding at least one material to another when you add material to a glass gas or liquid the material you add is called the solute and the material you are adding to is called the solvent for example we are adding this into this so this is solute and this is the solvent so it will form a mixture and each part will obtain or contain its properties they do not change their properties then types of mixtures there are two type of mixtures that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture in homogeneous mixture there is no difference in the composition all seems to be same that is air air is a mixture of gases but you can't distinguish milk and lemonade this lemonade you can't distinguish where is the water and where is the lemon so this is a homogeneous mixture then heterogeneous mixture it can be the mixture which is made up of many things and those things are distinguishable that you can say with your naked eyes that soil so you use those things by shaking before to have like this pulses you can distinguish them that what is this what is this but here you can't distinguish that where is this lemon juice and where is the water moving to next we will explain homogeneous mixture in detail homogeneous mixtures are those where the material are evenly distributed throughout that means you can't distinguish between them these are also called as solutions for example the stainless steel this is a homogeneous mixture steel is not a one element you can say metal it is a combination of two or more than two element so it is not distinguishable so it is a homogeneous mixture this is also a good example of homogeneous mixture a tea water after filtering out you can't distinguish where is the water and where is the tea content all seems to be similar this is a homogeneous mixture now moving to next heterogeneous mixture where the component of mixture are non uniform we can locate the different materials and the properties as well as different so this is what here all the things seems different so these are called your heterogeneous mixtures this is a good example of heterogeneous mixture as heterogeneous mixtures are those where substances are not distributed evenly so this is the best example your pizza here the topping is different and you can distinguish that this is tomato this is olives and this is the cheese on it and all the things you can distinguish 
easily but this thing is not eligible in your soft drink you can't distinguish where is the flavors and where are the taste and what the thing in them that that your cold drink your soft drink is a homogeneous mixture this is this salad is also a heterogeneous mixture now we will distinguish the types or we will discuss the types of mixtures what is the difference here the uniform composition is there here no uniform composition oh sorry this is your homogeneous this is your heterogeneous in homogeneous uniform contribution is there but in heterogeneous not uniform distribution in homogeneous air salt water all the things which you can't separate easily in heterogeneous you can separate the things like sand in water by filtering we can separate sand and water this is what sand in water heterogeneous this is homogeneous that uniform throughout so after this we have finished with our mixtures its types what are heterogeneous what are homogeneous and what is now we will discuss what is the difference between mixture and a pure substance i think now you can think of it so these are some things that are in your daily life useful by you now i will give this task to you that distinguish them homogeneous in and a heterogeneous mixtures now the type of mixtures we discussed what is that these heterogeneous have a visible boundary they don't have a visible boundary they are the particles are not distributed evenly the particles are distributed these are the things which are heterogeneous and these are the things which are homogeneous so this is what a type of mixture is now this is the what we discussed this is a sum up of part 1 part 2 and this part 3 video that total compound a uh, matter we discuss matter then physical classification chemical classification then solids liquids gases then we discuss in chemical classification pure substance and mixtures in pure substance we discuss elements in com then compounds in we compound we discuss water then type of compounds inorganic compound organic compound then in mixtures homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixture one more thing that compound is the formation by the two or more than two elements but when two elements combine when two elements combine they changes their properties after combination because the chemical reaction occur between the elements for example formation of water is happened by combination of h2 and o before combining hydrogen as we know hydrogen gas has a property of combustion it is combustible gas oxygen has a property to which is required for combustion but after the mixing of oxygen and hydrogen we get water and this water will help to extinguish the fire so from this example we can check that the elements which are which do not react chemically before the formation of compound have different properties but after combining chemically the properties of the compound will changes but this does not exist this rule does not exist in mixtures because in mixtures the element before mixing will have same properties as they will be after mixing for example salt in water without mixing in water salt have a salty taste and after mixing in water it will remain as such so this is the major difference between compound and mixture that com in compound elements leave their properties but in mixtures after mixing they do not leave their properties the reason is in mixtures chemical reaction does not take place but in compounds chemical reaction takes place hope you understand thank you for watching